Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to explain and demonstrate the use of data type in Apex. So we will be discussing how to use primitive data type, S object collection, then enum, then user defined Apex classes and uh, system supplied Apex classes. So all these we can use as a data type in Apex. Now, before starting, if you want to watch more Salesforce related videos, like flow, workflows, uh, process builder. So uh, all these uh, videos, playlist link, you can find in the description of this video. And in my previous video, I uh, explained you about introduction of Apex. So let's start with uh, primitives. So these are some examples how we can create primitive variables. So primitive data type is Boolean integer decimal string ID and is active num price S and ID. These are variables and we can assign uh, uh, related values to these variables as per the data type. So now let me take you to developer console. So in my previous video, I also, uh, sorry, I already uh, demonstrated to you how you can open this developer console and how you can create a file, Apex file in this. So if you want to open existing file, so you can go to open and here you can see various components like classes, trigger, pages, page components, objects, static resources, packages. So if you click on class, so all related classes will be available here. Now, if you want to create new class, so you can click on file and choose Apex class. So I'm putting name as data type demo, right? So let me first, uh, give you brief idea, like how we can create class and how we can uh, create instance of instance of the class so that we can execute constructors or uh, methods. Those are defined inside the class. So first I'm going to create its constructor. So this way I'm defining constructor and inside constructor I'm writing system dot debug. So whenever you want to print something, so you can use system.debug in Apex. So this way I created this constructor. Now to execute this, I need to open execute anonymous window. So here I'm going to create its instance. So data type demo D equals to new data type demo. So as we create instance, so automatically it's uh, constructor will be called. So there are two options execute and execute highlighted. So if you want to execute all the statements, then just click on execute. Otherwise you can select uh, specific statements and then click on execute highlighted. So right now I'm clicking on execute. So when uh, it is executed, so you can move to log and you can open this latest one. So in the latest log, you can see that output. So you need to click on debug only. So here you can see system.debug uh, printed I am in constructor and this three is showing line number. So at which line that system.debug is available in the Apex class. So it is on line number three. That's why uh, uh, output is showing uh, three as line number. Now here you can see one more option open log. So if you check this checkbox, so automatically logs are open. So we don't need to click on the logs. Those are generated. You just need to click on debug only so that uh, debug results will be displayed. So this way uh, you can use constructor. Now I am removing this and I'm going to create a method for this. So I'm writing public void method demo. And inside this I'm writing system dot debug I'm in method so methods are not executed directly we need to call them so after creating instance you can call your method so again I'm clicking on execute so logs are automatically open I'm clicking on debug only so here you can see it is showing I am in method so this way you can create constructor as well as methods as per your requirement. Now I'm going to create a primitive. So let's say I'm creating Boolean variable B 
and inside this method i am assigning true in this boolean variable and after this i am writing one more system dot debug so b equals to n plus b so this is the way you can print variable as well as text so whenever you want to display text you need to enclose it in single quotes and then for separation plus and then variable so remember one thing all the strings which you want to display must be enclosed in single quotes in case of apex so this is a primitive variable so this way we can create comments as well so this is primitive data type variable so boolean is a primitive data type and its variable is b so uh, inside the method we assign true in b and then we are printing it so i am saving the code moving to uh, execute this code so i am clicking on execute clicking on debug only so here you can see i am in method and b equals to true both the messages are displayed so this way you can use any uh, variable uh, like which is of primitive type uh, you can declare it outside the method so that you can use it inside any method and if you want to create local variable then that is also possible so that you can create inside a particular methods so that it can become local now moving further so this way you can use these primitive data types now comes specific s object so s object s object is very important in terms of salesforce because whatever we create in salesforce it stores under a particular object right we create records so records are directly associated with the objects so we have two type of objects standard and custom so in first line you can see uh, standard object uh, variable creation is mentioned and in the last line you can see custom object variable creation is mentioned and if you want to assign values to the fields related to a particular object then you can use two notations like in parenthesis you can use field name and you can assign values directly otherwise you can use the variable name like acc then dot and then field name and then you can assign the values so let me give you this demo as well so i am creating variable for account so this way i am creating this then acc dot name so here you can see as you uh, put dot so all the related fields of account object will be populated automatically here so you can choose them directly so here you can see i am assigning a test in name field of account object then acc dot phone so this way i assign test and 1 2 3 4 5 6 in two different fields of this account variable now if i want to display it on output so what i can write account equals to then plus acc so if i print acc variable directly so it will be displaying both name and phone because we provided two values as of now so this way i implemented this now i am executing it so that we can check the output so here you can see account name and phone both are displayed so this way you can create variable for uh, s objects so right now i created object for standard object similar to standard you can use your custom objects as well and you can assign the values further uh, we can apply dml operations as well like if you want to insert this account into database so you can use insert you can use update you can use delete so all those dmls you can apply here so right now we are not focusing on the dml part so that will be available in the uh, upcoming video that will be based on dml like how we can uh, create new record through apex how we can update the record or how we can delete a particular record right so those operations i will be demonstrating in another, another video so here uh, i think you understood how we can use primitive data types and how we can use s object as a data type in apex right so you can try it in uh, your developer console so i demoed you standard object you can use custom object as well now one more thing that is generic s object so right now i created specific account variable but you can use s object as a data type so for example here i can write s object 
and obj so uh, with this example you can see i am passing name equals to test inside the parenthesis so account variable will be created and its reference will be stored into s obj1 right now further if you want to access the values you need to type cast it so let's say i am writing name equals to test here removing these statements right now i need to type cast so what i need to write account acc equals to and then inside bracket account and then obj so obj is a variable of s object type right it is having reference of this account but now we need to type cast this obj into account so that through acc we can access its particular fields right without having specific data type you cannot access the fields so uh, whenever you use a generic s object so you need to convert them into a specific s object so now if i execute this so it will work appropriately so acc will be displaying name only because we didn't provided phone number this time so here you can see name equals to test so this way you can create s objects uh you can use s object as a, a generic data type and then you can uh, convert it to specific here you can read the note one of the benefit of casting is to be able to access fields using dot notation so once you have casted your generic s object into specific object then only you can use dot notation which is not available on the generic s object so this you need to remember so what is the benefit of generic uh, uh s object variable Uh, so we can use them to refer more than one specific object like here i used as uh, sorry this obj for referencing account but after uh, type casting i can use any other object like this obj equals to new let's say contact so this way i can assign the reference of contact into obj and then further i can type cast it into a uh, contact variable right so that way we can do uh, this also and one more thing whenever uh, there is any error so you can see this uh, red exc exclamation sign will be there and you can uh, go through with your problems like uh, this way so here you can see it is showing duplicate as of uh, duplicate obj variable so we need to remove this as we declared this variable already so we can just use its name uh, without using any data type so now you will see this error will be removed right so this way you can use these generic as objects now comes list so there are three more uh, data types list set and map so in this video i will be uh, discussing them in uh, briefly but in my upcoming uh, videos or uh, in the playlist of apex you will see uh, separate videos for list map and set so in those separate videos i will be explaining each and every method related to these data types but here we will discuss uh, briefly about them so first of all list it is an ordered collection of elements each element of list has an index for identification index position of first element is always zero list can be nested and even multi dimensional elements can be of any data type so if you want to create a list so you can create list for primitive for collection for as object for user defined data types or for built in data types built in types right so user defined types and built in types here refer to classes now how we can create list so here you can see list of string so it is a primitive so list of primitive then list of account so account is as object so list of as object then list of integer integer is again primitive so list of primitive so this way you can create various kind of list and even you can query the data that is available in the objects uh, so at the bottom you can see uh, one query is mentioned here which is querying account id and name and storing it into list so whenever we query data from uh, apex uh, objects so they return a list of records so we can use list of a particular s object to store those returned value so now let me give this demo as well so what we are going to do we are going to create list of string so 
So this way you can create variable for list. So here, uh, let's say I am writing str list. This is the variable name. So list is data type. So list of string is now completely a data type. So we are creating collection of string, which will be stored inside str list. And uh, this way we initialized it. Now to add values, we can use add method. So what we can do str list dot add and here we can write let's say a then str dot str list dot add then we can write b so this way you can put the data and if you want to display it on output screen or in the logs so you can write list contains and plus str list. So both A and B will be displayed as output because list is containing these two values only. So again, I'm going to execute this. So debug log will be opened automatically. I'm clicking on debug only. So here you can see list contains and in parentheses, two values A and B are displayed. So this way you can create a list accordingly. Now let me demo you how we can create the, how we can query the records from the database. Uh, before that, uh, focus on these as well. So here you can see uh, my list dot add we already discussed. Then if you want to get a particular uh, index value, so you can use get method. If you want to add a particular, you can add, you could you want to add value at a particular location or index, then you can use add index comma value. If you want to clean or clear your list, you can use clear. And if you want to identify the size of list, you can use dot size. If you want to check your list is empty or not, so you can use is empty. So all these methods uh, we will be discussing in detail while I will be uh, uh, demonstrating you the use of list in a separate video. So don't, uh, don't panic like uh, I'm not uh, explaining list in detail. Because uh, for that, I am uh, going to, I, I will be uh, preparing a new video for that. So right now I'm uh, going to explain this last line, how we can query the data. So here I am writing list of account, ACC list equals to, and here I am writing select ID name, from account and I'm writing limit two. Only two records will be queried, right? So this is uh, actually known as SOQL. This is actually known as SOQL. So we are querying the data which is available under account object and that list will be stored inside ACC list variable. Now I'm going to display this. So this way you can in this list and one more thing apex is case insensitive so you can write things in uppercase or lowercase uh, uh, that doesn't matter but uh, try to uh, follow the case sensitive nature because uh, that is better uh, to understand so uh, if you have written uh, let's say uh, acc list like this so always use uh, further in the code like this like uh, alice capital and other uh, letters are small don't write ACC list in all capital. So follow that notation, um, even if uh, Apex is case insensitive, right? So now I'm going to execute this. So you will see two records will be uh, received uh, with this ACC list variable and those will be displayed here. So here you can see, this is the first record, ID name, gen point, and this is second record, ID and name is United Oil and Gas, uh, gas Evo. So two records only returned into the list because we already mentioned the list as, uh, sorry, limit as two. So this way you can uh, use a list of account or list of any S object so that you can query the data and you can store them into a variable. So I hope you understood uh, about basics of list. Then comes set. So set is an unordered collection of element. It doesn't contain duplicate elements. So in list, we can store duplicates, but set doesn't contain duplicate element. Set can contain collection that can be nested with one other, sorry, within one another. Then elements can be of any data type. 
primitive type collection as object user defined type built in type so this way we can create set so uh, in place of list we can use set as a data type so set of string set of id set of integer similarly uh, like we added uh, values in list we can use add values in set as well we can remove values directly and uh, uh, we can check whether a particular value exist in set or not then we can uh, check the size or uh, it is empty or not so same way we use list we can uh, use set as well so again i will be creating separate video for set as well so that you can understand the proper working of set uh, through that video moving further next uh, data type is map so map is a collection of key value pair so here we have two entities key and value so keys are always unique having a value associated and value can be duplicate so keys are unique and values can be duplicate then apex uses a hash structure for all maps adding a map entry with an existing key override the existing entry with new so map key and value can contain any collection and can contain nested collection as well then key and value can be of any data type so uh, you can use primitive key or value you can use collection as key and value as object user defined types built in types right so this is the example of map so you need to use map then string comma string so a first string will be considered as key and second will be considered as value this is the name of this map and then uh, instantiation of the map now how we can put the value so you need to use put method so one will be key and first will be the value then two will be the key and uh, second will be the value so let me create this so that you can have its flavor as well so map of string string so demo map is equals to new map string comma string right now demo map dot put one comma first then demo map dot put two comma second so this way you can put the values now if we want to debug this like to to check what is available in the demo map so demo map equals to plus demo map so this way i created a map whose name is demo map and i mentioned key and value pair now i'm going to execute this so that you can see how uh, output of map displays so here you can see demo map equals to inside curly braces 1 equals to first and 2 equals to second so 1 and 2 are representing key and first and second are representing as values so this way you can use map in your apex and you can also use map with the as object so let's say you want to store uh, id and uh, account records together so you can uh, create map of id comma account then Uh, how you can store the values so uh, here first i have created list of account then i converted that into map so if you pass if you pass list as an argument into map so that will be converted into map so this way you can use and uh, in third example i am using map of account comma list of account list of contact so here account will be uh, key and list of contact will be values so this way Uh, inside a map you can use a list as well as values so this way uh, you can use a list set and map so in this video i just gave you brief introduction about set map and list but they are very much important so for that purpose i am going to create separate videos for them so those will be available with the playlist uh, apex in salesforce so do watch those videos as well so that you can understand their working in detail and last one is enum so enum is an abstract data type enums are used to define a set of possible values after creation of enum one can create variables methods so
so one can create variable method arguments and return type of that type right so this is the simple example so we rarely use enum so i am just uh, explaining this here only so public enum enum is a keyword so weekdays is the name of the enum then these are the values mon tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday now if if you want to create variable for enum so you can use weekdays as a data type and w as a variable then weekdays dot monday so we are assigning monday to w now we are checking w with weekdays dot q so uh, if both are equal then uh, w will be returned otherwise not so this way you can use uh, enums to create symbolic constant values right so uh, we uh, rarely use this uh, enum so you just need to know like we can use enum in fx but uh, in uh, we don't use it frequently right so this way i uh, explained all these things in this video and uh, user defined classes and system supplied apex classes uh, these you can use as we used as object so you can use name of class and then you can create its variable so as i uh, demonstrated you uh, how to create instance of a particular class in anonymous window so in anonymous window what we did we created data type demo d equals to new data type demo so same statement you can use in a particular class so what you can do if you have created one class so you can create it its instance into another class so this way you can uh, link uh, more than one classes together to use method of a particular class into another so this way we used uh, a demo method of this uh, data type demo class so we can write this statement in any other class as well so that is what i want to say like user defined apex apex classes and system supplied apex classes so these are also known as data type when you create variables for them so you can use them as well in your uh, apex classes so this way i hope you understood uh, about the data types which are available to use in apex classes so along with theoretical explanation i tried to show you uh, each and every uh, example in form of demo so you can try it in your uh, demo org so that you can uh, get familiar with all these data types so uh, if you want to watch all the videos related to apex and salesforce so the playlist link will be available in the description of this video so you can follow that thank you for watching this video